Thanks, everybody. Okay, is Frankie here? I am, Sue, yes. Welcome, Frankie Armstrong. I'm handing over to you now, my dear. Well, thank you, Sue the Miracle Worker. <laughs> All this techie stuff which I have no way of understanding. So, welcome, everybody, to this evening's concert for the Musicians for Peace and Disarmament, uh, who in turn uh, give the funds that they raise to a variety of peace organisations. So it's a great privilege to be part of that organisation and to have a chance to organise a concert such as this. Now what I, before I introduce the artists, I'm going to introduce, like Sue, another person who is essential, which is my partner, Darian Pritchard, because some of you know, in fact, many of you know, uh, I'm visually impaired, which means I can't handle all the keys and the buttons and whatever, I can't see them. And neither can I see the screen, except just some flashing colors. But I'll tell you what would be lovely, if I could imagine you all, I'll wave at you, and can I imagine you all waving back at me? How is that? Good evening, we're welcome. Lots of hands in our arms. Thank you. Lovely. Darian tells me there's lots of waving hands. Uh, and welcome back, those of you who were at the concert uh, back in September, which had largely the same lineup, except me, who was supposed to be there. But sadly, I wasn't able to be just because of family illness. So, but I am here this evening to my great delight. And uh, we have with us, shortly I'll be introducing Rob Johnson, who is a wonderful and surprising singer and songwriter. You're never quite sure what Rob's going to come up with. He's just got a fascinating repertoire of songs. Then I'll give you a few songs. Then we've got a bit of a surprise for you, uh, which will include Jane Faulkner, giving you a little chat about what MPD, Musicians for Peace and Disarmament, are and what they do. And then after that, there will be wonderful Sam Lee and equally wonderful Nancy Kerr and James Fagan. So it's, it's a, they're all dear friends. And so I'm just so looking forward to this. So to start with, can I invite Rob to take over? I will mute myself. Rob, unmute yourself and over to you. Okay, thank you. Hey, thank you, Frankie. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, you know, like 18 years and a bit ago, we wouldn't have been meeting on Zoom. Of course, we'd all have been meeting in London on the great Stop the War March. Two million of us. We must have missed each other in a crowd. This is a song about that, that day. <laughs> Keep seeing us everywhere as far as the eye can see. It's like some river overflowing. We got Muslims, we got Christians, we got pagans, we got Jews, we got atheists, anarchists, socialists, we even had a liberal or two on the day. We all said stop the war On the day We all said stop the war We got gaffias, we got t-shirts Hijabs and rainbow scarves We got placards that say we're angry We got placards that make you laugh we got whistles, badges, banners, 10,000 djembes and a salsa band. We got pensioners, we got push chairs, arm in arm and hand in hand. On the day, we all said stop the war. On the day, we all said stop The 
the actress and the bishop We got tankies, we got trots And some got extra sandwiches In case their mates forgot We've got respectable housewives from Isha Who've never done this sort of thing before and the international sex workers of the world united And the girl and the boy next door On the day We all said stop the war On the day We all said stop the war We got that what's the name from off of the telly we got that bloke I met called Steve But we are more than just this two million We are Ramallah and Tel Aviv We are New York, Paris, Berlin, Moscow Cape Town, Cairo, Bangkok to Glasgow It's like some river overflowing On the day we all said stop We all said stop the war On the day We all said stop the war On the day We all said stop the war I keep seeing us everywhere Everywhere. Well, that's New York, Paris, Moscow, Cape Town, Cairo, Bangkok to Glasgow. We were right, yeah. weren't we? You were right, and Tony Blair was, was wrong. There's always money for generals and tanks There's always the money for missiles and banks There's always the money for new ways to kill But a limited budget for you if you're ill Yes, they'll always find enough for a war it's never enough for the poor There's always the money for tunnels and roads For opera and ballet But not jobs and homes for MPs expenses and fat subsidies But there's never enough for nurseries There's a pay rise if you're on the board But there's never enough for the poor There's always the money for tests they can pass Or fail you for not being white middle class There's always the goodies for those with most greed But there's never enough for those in most need And the well off they always take more so there's never enough for the poor Consider the little of life that we know We bring nothing, take nothing, pass through and go 
We're all of us poor when it comes to the night In need of the darkness, in need of the light If we learn to want less and love more There'd be enough for the poor Cause there's more than enough Yes, there's more than enough More than enough for us all And this is, I'll finish with this new song. Uh, I've been changing it about and it's sort of evolved into this state uh, at the moment. But I was talking with Frankie earlier about how we, could, how we should respond to the fact that we have uh, an incompetent government uh, that seems to prioritise uh, backhanding money to its friends and cronies and wives and girlfriends um, and doesn't seem to care that 100, over 100,000 of us have died uh, when their target figure was 20,000. And Frankie was talking about anger and stoicism. And I think it's it's good to be stoical on your own behalf, but it's it's essential that you're angry on behalf of others. So this is quite an angry song. Full steam ahead. Soon it will be summer. And like the captain said last year, we'll all be home for Christmas. And at the captain's table There's silverware and waiters And the orchestra is playing Jolly boating weather And the plague ship sails on And the plague ship sails on Full steam ahead with flag and national anthem Oh let us clap the dead And the waiters bring more champers And at the captain's table All the captain's cronies Are busy doing good business Such jolly boating weather The play down and overcrowded for us there are no lifeboats the waiters say it's our fault our children going hungry Christmas brought us icebergs the virus worse than ever but we hear the waiters cheering three cheers for the captain and the play ship clear away the dead men the captain's table killed and total up the damage who will foot the bill and will it take us 20 or just 10 years to decide what the dead could tell us the useless bastard lied sails on and the plague ship sails on
Fantastic, Rob. I love the way you can move right about and, and move from tenderness to justifiable savagery for, in a matter of minutes. Thank you. It's uh, now my turn. It's, it's strange. I can feel a lot more nervous about singing in one of my own little rooms than, than in a big hall or even Hyde Park, which I've been lucky enough to sing in for anti-war movements in the past. Uh, but the first song I'm going to sing, partly because Monday week, I'm sure you all know, is International Women's Day. And I have to say over my lifetime, I think many things have changed for the better. But there's more to go. And so this is a song that originated as a result of a strike by women, largely women, in textile mills in Lawrence, Massachusetts in 1912. So I'm sure many of you will already have the words bread and roses flashing up because uh, their slogan was give us bread, but give us roses too for the needs of sustenance for the body, but also for the soul, for the heart. So, and a poet, James Oppenheim, wrote a poem about the, the women and the strike, and there have been various settings of it. And this is one uh, done by a dear friend, Leon Rosselson. So this is Bread and Rosing, Roses. <laughs> As we come marching, marching in the beauty of the day, a million darkened kitchens, a thousand mill of grey, are touched by all the radiance that a sudden sun discloses. For the people hear us singing, bread and roses, bread and roses. As we come marching, marching, we battle too for men, for they are women's children, and we mother them again. Our lives shall not be sweated from birth until life closes. Hearts starve as well as bodies. Give us bread, but give us roses. As we come marching, marching, unnumbered women dead go crying through our singing their ancient song of bread. Small art and love and beauty, their drudging spirits new. Yes, it is bread we fight for, but we fight for roses too. As we come marching, marching, the future hears our call. The rising of the women means the rising of us all. No more the drudge and idler, ten that toil while one reposes. But a sharing of life's glories. Bread and roses, bread and roses. Okay. Yo! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. A song I learned very recently from a, a dear woman who I consider as a sister. Peggy Seeger, and this is a beautiful song she wrote called How I Long for Peace, so it says everything in the song. I think that's right, whoops. How 
Oh, I long for peace amongst the peoples and the nations. How I long to halt the plunder of the wonders of creation. Oh, how I long for peace. I cannot understand how the sisters, wives and mothers cannot stop the slaughter of their husbands, sons and brothers. Oh, how I long for peace. There never will be peace Till men abandoning fighting As the way to deal with problems That prevent us from uniting Oh, how I long for peace the prophets made from war, there's few that can resist them. Hypocrisy and greed control the lifeblood of our system. Oh, how I long for peace. The earth can wait no longer for political permission. Sit down, disrupt, do anything to make the whole world listen. Oh, how I long for peace amongst the peoples and the nations. How I long to halt the plunder of the wonders of creation. Oh, how I long for peace. <laughs>
more than shirts, there are dreams to be sold. Did you join the women who march through the streets and the hundreds of thousands whose names can be seen sent across the Atlantic to plead with our leaders the ending of wars of all wars is our dream and lily how is it that we didn't know the women of wales raise their voices so strong i'd like to think you were there in the crowd helping me feel proud of where i belong and sixty years later, the women of Wales led the way to the Greenham base, joined by thousands more, no more weapons of war. Let the doves fly, it's peace we embrace. Some of us marched, all of us sang, the women of Wales led the way. Rid us of weapons, study war no more. The price of men's pride is too fearful to pay. And now, with the storms gathering around, women call out from the valleys and farms, as our grandmothers did a century ago. With their call, no more, no more men at arms. Lily, who were you then when the men came back from the trenches? No, isn't it? It's a lady with long white hair. Wow. Ooh. One lovely reviewer. Thank you. One lovely reviewer of the record that's on, the CD that that's on, said that in, it incorporated the head, the heart and the womb, which I thought was a lovely way of responding. Now, uh, to finish, I'm going to sing a, a song by Leon Rosselson, my favourite songwriter, and it's no wonder I love it. It's a song about the power and beauty of song and its ability to change things for the better sometimes, which is why we're here doing what we're doing. It's called Voices. And every so often, I will simply sing, or I'll start off by singing, the, just the word voices. So do join in every time you hear voices. I'd love to imagine your mouths coming wide open, yes? And, then, and Darian is going to accompany me on the shrewty box, just the drone. Voices in the stagnant squalor of a shanty town a woman is singing she cannot read she cannot write her name but the voice that lives inside her makes her strong it calls a thousand other voices into song it breaks the sullen silence of the sky and wakes the ragged children who must scavenge to survive and shakes the soundproof citadels where paper deals are made a world away with a warning voices Above the squads of armoured cars and uniforms The children are singing They face the clubs, the tear gas and the guns With their voices and the vision that they share The song that blossoms in the dry land of despair It mocks 
the power of the death machine and sparks beneath the earth a fire raging to be free and rocks the mighty mausoleum walls where laws are made a world away with a warning voices above the razor wire around the missile base a small bird is singing a soldier cursing the insistent voice marks its flight takes careful aim and then lets fly and sees exploding feathers tumble from the sky but still the, soy, the silent soldier hears it sing That trilling, surly, surging song That fills the hollow of the skies And filters through the bunker walls Where battle plans are laid a world away With a warning voice where the dawn and darkness meet out of the bleakness of defeat where there's no choice but to refuse when there is nothing left to lose voices defy the death mask on the face the barbed wire around the missile base the solemn calculated lie the patriotic battle cry voices Defy the club, the baton round, the riot squad, the killing ground, the legalized injustices, the law, what sanctifies, what voices. Can we be silent when we hear these voices call upon the unique voice that lives inside us all? Thank you. And now I'm going to introduce the surprises we've got this evening. Just have a little bit of my ginger and honey. Um, yes, I am lucky enough to belong to a local choir run by a dear friend, Laura Bradshaw. And it's a choir pri primarily for refugees and asylum seekers and, uh, run by a center called the oasis so that's why we're the oasis choir and with local supporters of which i'm one when i can uh, get to the choir and this last year this strange strange lockdown year with an enormous amount of Techni technological patience on Laura and colleagues' parts, we, we devised and put together two songs and Laura fitted videos to them. The first one is called The Water Carrier and is about the importance of water all around the world yeah, and, and the dangers of, if, from climate change. So that's the first one and uh, a woman called June uh, helped us to choreograph a little video for that. And then after that first video, uh, oh, there will be Jane Faulkner, who will come and tell us a bit more about f Musicians for Peace and Disarmament. And then there will be the second video, which has pictures of the choir at various of their past gigs uh, and a song that we put devised together with Laura's help simply called Peace. So I don't think that will need any more introductions. So I'll see you after the videos and Jane telling us more about MPD. Thanks, Frankie. I'm just wondering if Laura wants to say anything before I play the video. Oh. Just, just that it's a, a real honour to be here and, you know, thank you for inviting us to this event and a big thanks to Tracy, who's our project manager and put, put the most of the videos together. 
Um, you, I think the first um, piece is explained by Christiana, and I'm hoping she's here actually on the video. She hope she's trying to see if she can come and join us, but you'll see some faces um, that you might recognize. I think that's all I need to say, really. It's sort of Thanks, explained Louis. itself. We've got lots of different languages in it. I'm just going to find that video. Hopefully you should be able to see a black screen now. And if you could all give me a big thumbs up as soon as you can hear the sound, please. Actually, this song, it's really, uh, it's, it's a song that combines different culture, different language. Like you have to, you, you can hear a word from Africa, majorly Yoruba, from Nigeria. You can hear a word like uh, from, which is Weish. So it's just a combination of different cultures and different uh, languages. And uh, the water bearer, water is life. It has, water is true life.
Whenever we are singing like this together, let's say together, especially Oasis Choir, it brings this joy to us. And uh, we want our voice to be heard all over the world. And at least to see how virtual choir can really work, truly. <laughs> Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, Laura. Thank you so yeah. much for that gift. Now we're going to go to Jane Faulkner from the MPD, who has sent us a two minute video. Good evening, everyone. My name is Jane Faulkner, and I'm a committee member of Musicians for Peace and Disarmament, known as MPD. We are very pleased and privileged this evening to be welcoming such wonderful folk musicians, all of whom are donating their services to the peace movement. So I would like to thank Frankie Armstrong, Rob Johnson, Nancy Kerr, James Fagan and Sam Lee for all they're doing for us this evening. It really is sad that we're having to do this concert online rather than meeting together in person but we are determined to keep our concerts for peace going. I'm sure they inspire us to keep the peace movement in our minds. And it's a wonderful way to spread the word and encourage our friends to watch these concerts online. Our organisation was originally called Musicians Against Nuclear Arms when it began in 1983, commonly known as MANA. At that time, there were other professional bodies who formed peace groups. So there were doctors, there were lawyers, clergy, scientists, actors and others. And we all came under an umbrella organisation called Professions for World Disarmament and Development. These groups were able to specifically target areas in the peace movement with their own professional perspective. We as musicians are in a privileged position as we are a visible presence and we can spread our message of hope and peace through beautiful music. We are also able to provide funds to help other peace groups with their campaigns. So I do ask you to consider donating to MPD at the end of this concert so that we can play a part in the bigger picture of the peace movement. Thank you for supporting us by listening. Thank you again to our wonderful performers and please enjoy the rest of the performance. So now we're gonna go over to um, Laura's video piece as announced by Frank earlier. Laura, do you wanna say anything about this video before I press play? Um, I, well, again, it, it came out of, I think someone came, um, Sinai, a good friend of the choir, came to our session and told us it was International Peace Day. And so we thought, oh, let's write a song about it. And we just improvised on the theme of peace and everyone came up with their own little themes, as you can hear. And um, we put it together. And I think some of the photographs that you see of uh, Snowdonia as sort of on a walk in Snowdonia might have been taken by Sinai as well, because he's a wonderful mm. photographer. And it's photographs of um, people in the choir a couple of years ago. So there's not necessarily photographs of the people who were in the song, but we've got plenty of the, them since anyway. Okay. Here we go. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, 
Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. Sorry, I was distracted before trying to get someone else into the meeting who helped us to create the song. It started in Yoruba. I didn't. I met, didn't mention all the different languages that were in the song. Sorry. Yeah. Lovely. There we are. Let's hand back to Frankie. Thanks, Sue. Thanks, Laura. That was just. I hope that there will be a time when we can actually have the choir as part live as part of the concert. We'll have us all live as part of a concert for MPD. Now it's a great privilege to introduce again another dear friend uh, who is an extraordinary singer and he's a folk song collector and he's really done a lot to keep 
uh, traditional songs alive, particularly having collected from travelers and Romanese. So I'll hand you over to Sam Lee. Hi, Sam. Thank you, Frankie. Hello, everyone. Um, so nice to be back here. And so nice to be back here with you, Frankie, this time. Um, what a sweet gathering, so much. I feel awful singing on my own because I feel all this wonderful communal singing is making me feel very lonely. <laughs> I can't wait for us to all be back in circles again. Um, um, so I just, I'd like to share a, just a few, a few songs. Um, and um, and I f I'm sure many of you are feeling those surges of spring beginning. Um, maybe some of you have even started nibbling on the shoots of wild garlic or the first sprouts of the elder leaf um, to revive the, uh, the, the blood. Um, and something that's very dear to me that is just coming into force right now is birdsong. So um, I'd like to sing a great celebration of birdsong because uh, I love the sound of birds. I spend a lot of time with birds, singing with them, particularly nightingales. And this song actually is a song that um, uh, speaks really of the nightingale as being the finest singer. It has a chorus as well. I'm sure many of you know it. It's the Copper family's version of Birds in the Spring. And, um, and the last kind of line sort of repeats. Um, so feel feel free, uninhibited, to sing at your laptop at me. No one can hear you, sadly. Um, uh, and uh, join in. Uh, so this is, yeah, from, from Rotting Dean from Sussex. This is uh, Birds in the Spring or Birds on the Spray or As I Rove, As I Walked Out uh, One Morning in May. Um, and uh, can we all just send our love to those little feathered beings who have survived that doesn't feel like particularly long but certainly cold winter and have made it through um, and are letting us know they're alive. So here is Birds in the Spring. <laughs> mm. As I walked out one morning in May To view the green meadows And the valley so gay It is there I did hear Those charming birds sing did you ever hear so sweet? Did you ever hear so sweet? Did you ever hear so sweet as the birds in the spring? Can we all sing that together? And you never heard so sweet And you never heard so sweet As the birds in the spring As I sat myself down To view all around and the song of the nightingale echoed all around. His voice was so charming, his notes were sincere. No music, no songster, no music, no songster. No music, no songster can with him compare. So all of you hear them small birds to hear 
I'll have you pay attention. Now listen, draw near. That when you've grown old, you'll have this to say. That you never heard so sweet. That you never heard so sweet. That you never heard so sweet as the birds in the spring. Yay! Birds in the spring. Yeah. Um, and uh, well, it's um, yeah, it's not long until the Nightingales will be back. I shall be out in the forest with them. Frankie's been. Maybe some others of you have been out with me in the Nightingales. And I should say that I have a book coming out in about one month called The Nightingale, and it's a biography of the bird. So please, if you love the idea of hearing all the folk songs and folk stories and poems and prose that's been written about that bird, check it out. Um, uh, I, um, I'm going to sing another um, of the great, uh, of the great sort of springtime, slightly more salacious songs that is a is a as um frankie was saying it's a romney gypsy song i've i've heard this a few times from singers but um this is one from a from a woman called phoebe smith who i never met she died before i managed to discover her singing though only about um two, 1996 she she passed on uh one of the great suffolk uh singers and the, really one of the great gypsy voices and uh this is her version of uh, Game of All Fours, which is a, a song ostensibly about uh, playing a game of cards, though I think this in folk terms is what they call single entendre. Um, it's really about female sexual empowerment, which is a good, doesn't often get sung enough about, but it's dressed up there on the road, on the highway, up to Glasgow, where this encounter happens. So um, I'm just going to, I haven't sung this in absolutely years, and I felt inclined to. Um, <clears throat> Game of all fours. As I was a walking one bright summer's morning, I strolled along on the king's highway and who should i see but a fair pretty woman and the sweet town of glasgow making her way so we walked and we talked just a few miles together until we came to that shady green tree where she sat down there and i sat down beside her and the game that we played was one two and three so as she cut the cards and worries turn to deal them dealing himself out just one trump in his hand and she cut down his ace and she stole the jack from him and that's how i learned jack Kylo's the game. So he picked himself up and he bid her good morning. And he bid her good morning again and again. And he said, fair maid, if you won't I have beat you. 
And the very same game we'll play over again. But she picked herself up and she bid him good morning. And she bid him good morning again and again. And she said, young man, I'll be this way tomorrow. And the very same game we'll play over again. Game of all fours. <laughs>
round and round again until they come to the barn. And there they made a barley mow, a mow of John Barley corn. They hired men with crab tree sticks to beat him skin from bone. But the mill served him worse than that, for he ground him between two stones. They put him in a cistern deep, and covered him in water clear. And there they drowned John Barleycorn, they drowned him in water clear. Put white wine in your bottle, and cider in your can. John Barley Corn in a brown bowl will prove the stronger man. John Barley Corn, thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Sam. That was wonderful. Oh, and I think poor, poor John Barleycorn, uh, but at the end, a nice glass of whiskey is what you get as a result. So, uh, lovely. And now, again, I'm just so delighted to invite James Fagan and Nancy Kerr, who have the most wonderful repertoire of both traditional and contemporary political songs. Uh, so with enormous thanks to everybody so far, over to just finish us off, I'm sure <laughs> it's wonderful fashion. Well, we have just got a little epilogue, haven't we? Right, <laughs> Nancy and James, thank you. Thank you, Frankie, and thank you, everybody. Thank you to Tony and to Philly and to everybody from MPD and to Frankie and Darian and all the other performers as well. Um, it's just a, an honour to be asked to do this series of concerts and uh, we feel lucky to have been invited back to do a second one with some of you who we will have seen last time and some new faces as well. Um, it's a privilege. Uh, Frankie's already sung two songs by uh, one of the greatest writers of anti-war songs that any of us know, which is Leon Rosselson. Uh, bless him, still going strong in London, and uh, I'm sure still having many a thought on this particular subject. This is a song that Nancy and I uh, talked about probably within a day of meeting each other um, back in 1995, and it was one that we both grew up singing. Um, Hamish is uh, making me <laughs> nervous because he's playing with the Just plugs. Leave him, he's fine. Um, we're all in the room <laughs> together. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Should we I think just sing maybe it? a book would be awesome. So this is Across the Hills, <laughs> Across the Hills, an, an incredible song, which is a conversation, as I'm sure most of you know, uh, between two people uh, with very different outlooks on the situation. And unfortunately, this, this song is still uh, as relevant as it was when Leon wrote it. So we'll start with this. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, yeah. This is a great song. This is from the album um, If I Knew Who the Enemy Was, which came out in uh, late 70s, I think. But I, th I think I'm right in saying this is a, a 60s, um, yeah, as James said, anti-war song and a, a brilliant piece of conversation about anti-nuclear um, protest. And it's brilliant. So, Across the Hills. Across the hills, black clouds are sweeping Carry poison far and wide And the grass is blackened underfoot And the rose is withered and died But the rose is still as red, love And the grass is still as green And it must have been a shadow in the distance you have seen It must have been a shadow you have seen But can't you hear? Children weeping 
Can't you hear their mournful sound? And no birds sing in the twisted trees and the silent streets around. I can hear the children laughing in the streets as they play. And you must have caught the dying of an echo far away. It must have been an echo far away. But can't you see the white ash falling from the hollow of the sky And blood reds ran down blackened walls where ruined city lies I can see the red sun shining in the park on the stream And you must have felt the shiver from the darkness of a dream It must have been the darkness of a dream Yes, the rose is Across the Hills, one of my absolute favourite songs. It's perfect songwriting, so thank, thank you, you, Leon. Well, I was thinking of songs I could sing with you, and uh, as Sam said, uh, if, you're, if you've got your little red microphone muted, as you all do, you can uh, sing your hearts out and uh, we, won't, um, we won't be all out of sync. I've, I'm sure some of you have tried singing. It was remarkable to see that video that was made before and congratulations to everyone involved because getting anything together at the moment remotely is uh, an extraordinary feat, as you know. But uh, we would love you to sing this song. And uh, it's a song which I learnt from a, a, a mutual friend of ours and Frankie and Darian called Judy Small. Judy is a, a wonderful singer in Australia. She's from Melbourne and I grew up listening to Judy Small. And in fact, when I was a young fella, um, like so many great songs, you don't necessarily know where they were from. Um, and I just assumed Judy Small wrote this, but she didn't. It was written by a wonderful American woman called Pat Humphreys. And I learnt this last week. Um, lovely guys, lovely, um, just, just, yeah. <laughs> um, I learnt this song last week. Um, I mean, I learnt this fact last week about this song. Um, Pat Humphreys wrote this uh, back in the 1980s and she called it Keep On Moving Forward and a lot of you will know this song because it's an absolute classic refrain. Um, never turning back, never turning back. So each, each um, verse starts with a line which you are going to, uh, to pick up on. Going to keep on moving forward and then you sing keep on moving forward, keep on moving forward, never turning back never turning back. Every verse is exactly like that. That's how they go. It's a wonderful piece of writing. And I happen to know that Pat Humphreys, it's one of the very first songs she wrote and uh, she sang it and Pete Seeger was in the audience and he came up to her and tapped her on the shoulder and said it was um, a song that uh, would live long and it's still going strong. So sing it with us. This is Keep On Moving Forward by Pat Humphreys. We're going to keep on moving forward, keep on moving forward, keep on moving forward, never, never turning back, never turning back. We're going to keep on moving proudly, that's your line. Keep, keep on, on moving, moving proudly. proudly. Keep, keep on moving proudly. proudly. Never, Never turning back. Never turning back. back. We're going to keep on singing loudly. Keep on singing loudly, keep on singing loudly, never turning back, never 
turning back. back. We're gonna keep on loving boldly. Keep on loving boldly. Keep on loving boldly. Never turning back. Never turning back. We're gonna reach across our borders. Reach across our borders. Reach across our borders. Never turning back. Never turning back. We're gonna stop these wars together. Stop these wars together. Stop these wars together. Never turning back. Never turning back. We're going to keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Keep on moving forward. Never turning back. Never turning back. Well sung, everybody. Brilliant. Thank you. Well sung. I'm sure you were giving it everything. That's a, a brilliant piece of writing and it just captures, um, it captures the, the movement so, so well. Pat Humphreys. Well, well done, Pat. She's still going strong. Uh, you can look up her duo. It's brilliant. They're called Emma's Revolution and they are fabulous. Right then. Uh, we're going to play a request for Tony. Um, we're so... Uh, thrilled that this song went down last well last time. It's a song of Nancy's and I'll let her tell you about it. Yeah, we weren't going to sing this because we knew we'd sung it before, but then we were given the okay to sing it again, <laughs> which is which is lovely. So thank you. So this is a song I wrote um, a few years ago. Um, in fact, I was just um, teaching a lecture yesterday on, on peace songs and the role of music in... Um, uh, the peace movement and the civil rights movement and the environmental movement and all of these lovely kind of revisitings of how I, you know, how I learnt songs, really. That's, that's kind of how I, how I met folk music and, and lots of different kinds of singing. Um, so, uh, and this song is right kind of at the centre of that for me in terms of things that I've composed. So I wrote this um, to celebrate um, my memories of the women, not just the women, but especially the women at Greenham Common. Um, when I visited Green Greenham Common in 1983, well, I was nine, and um, it really stuck with me. And so, yeah, when I came to do a project called Shake the Chains, um, which was a, a kind of exploration of protest song, I wrote this song. It's called Through the Trees. Um, it really draws on that kind of, um, the, the kind of thing that Leon was writing about when he wrote um, Across the Hills. You know, it's very kind of, um, uh, owes a lot to that kind of uh, vision. And a lot of it is chorus. So the thing that we begin with is chorus. Um, so please sing, yeah, Through the Trees. This is for the, everyone at Greenham. Chase away when peace comes marching through the trees. As a child, I always knew that on the wind, some poison blue, that gathering clouds would be our shroud for a falling. Upon barbed wire, around the base, 
Our mothers twined our baby lace They linked their arms like lovers' charms To find all life in common Farewell the fire, likewise the freeze Farewell the ash upon the breeze That carrion day will chase away When peace comes marching through And below the seas, our rulers hoard their weapons And it is no curse to now begin To see the bones beneath the skin Don't turn away from judgment day For another storm does threaten Farewell the fire, likewise the freeze Farewell the ash upon the breeze That carrion day will chase away when Now upon barbed wire around the base Our mothers twined our baby lace They linked their arms like lovers' charms To find all life in common Now see them fly upon the air My baby's clothes, my lover's hair That carrion day will bear away With the strength of many women Farewell the fire, likewise the freeze upon the breeze that carrion day will chase away when peace comes marching through the trees farewell the fire likewise the freeze farewell the ash upon the breeze that carrion day will chase away when peace comes marching through the trees when peace comes marching through the trees Thank you everyone, that was Through the Trees, thank you, oh it's nice to get a chance to sing that. I think we're doing one more, is that right? We so will. We do, we're going to do a set of tunes actually, uh, is it okay if I talk about them? Please do. That's so, to, well yeah. someone will be able to tell me this, so when we were deciding what to sing and play, um, I felt like I wanted to, to play some tunes, um, and um, my father, who was a, a piper and instrumentalist always maintained that there was a massive role for instrumental music as protest music so even though it doesn't have words it doesn't mean it can't be part of your protest which fits in with Emma's revolution doesn't it really if I can't dance to it um, so I'm gonna play a tune um, which I'm sure someone will be able to tell me more information than I already have about it especially if there's anyone from the lovely trad arts team in Birmingham or any of that kind of lovely crowd but my feeling is that this tune which is called the Basbeck Polka is a Swedish um, tune written for um, some anti-nuclear protests at some point I think in the 1980s so um, I'm gonna play that I'll play the Basbeck Polka which we haven't played for a while but we'll give it a go and then I think we might kick it up into a faster tune I think we'll do uh, Nancy Clough, which is the tune that I was named after. So it's a Northumbrian tune written by Tom Clough, the piper. So we will kind of finish our little bit with a, a bit of tune, if that's okay. Thank you again for the invitation to Frankie and to MPD. And uh, thank you all for attending and for your, your donations to the cause. And uh, we hope to see you again soon. And um, we'll leave you with this one. But as Frankie said, there will be something else for you to join with after this. So not uh, too D. close to the mics. You need to get off a bit. Back a bit. Good. Do you want to do an intro or anything? No, or? I think you just start this okay. one.
Beautiful, everyone. wonderful. Oh, what spirit lifting music! Just well, that's beautiful. what we're here for to yeah. raise the spirits as well as the consciousness. Yes, yeah. consciousnessness. <laughs> Easy for you. Lovely. But don't go away uh, because shortly we will be asking Sam and Rob to come and join us too and coming back full circle with a song of Rob's to finish with. But before that, I want to thank everybody, but particularly uh, Yvonne Cheng of MPD, who's their administrator, who has made it possible for us to put this on and publicize it and especially Sue Ella without whom <laughs> there are various parts of my life that wouldn't function without Sue Ella's help uh, so I just extraordinary Sue thanks so very much always and a pleasure course, thank you absolutely thank you love and and thank you to all the people who have come this evening is wonderful to have so many of you here and I'm quite sure MPD will be delighted uh, with the donations. Well, I know they'll be delighted. So, um, Sue or somebody will have to organize the, the screen share or however we're going to be doing the, the uh, red and green to finish the whole evening. So I start off. I dreamed the old dream just last night. Red and green and going home I dreamed of no wars left to fight Red and green and going home Red and green and going home I dreamed of those who know no rest Red and green and going home the refugee, the dispossessed, red and green, and going home, red and green, and going home. And submarines plowshared the sand, red and green, and going home. And factories turn to fertile land, red and green and going home. I saw the women of all the earth, red and green and going home. Equal strength and equal mirth. Red and green and going home, red and green and going home. Ah, oh, these are old dreams, nothing new. Red and green and going home, of yet to come. Nonetheless true, red and green, going home, red and green, going home, red and green, and going home, red and green, and going home, red and green, going home. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Frankie.
to everyone. Thank you to everyone. As I said, keep safe, keep well, keep singing. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night.